With Gorilla Tag's next update right around the corner, it leaves time for me to give you my final theories and expectations for this giant update. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So for those of you who didn't know, we got a new match of the day for the Pride update, which is the newest Gorilla Tag update. They rethemed almost every map, as well as added cosmetics and a bunch of new cool features, including not taking the Gorilla Tag plushie out yet. I don't know why, to be honest, like it's still here. So tell me down below if you've received your Gorilla Tag plushie, and if you haven't, I hope that you get it soon. So now, let's go to City so I can show you the cosmetics that actually came to the game. Oh, and while I'm making it there, go my Discord down below, because very soon, I'm going to be doing another Shine Rock giveaway, as well as a Nitro giveaway. So if you ever wanted Discord Nitro or free Shine Rocks, then feel free to join in my discord which will be linked in the description there you can find a link obviously and hopefully you join it i'll see you there when you first enter city you're enter your what you're entered with no you're um plotted with i don't know a good word for this with this this balloon I can't pronounce words today i'm sorry guys this this balloon thing bridge whatever and you can grab balloons off of it and it really does good at decorating everything. as you can see no flashback the info shop is still the same although we got a new fur costume all new pride gem cosmetics and a bunch of new cool ride decorations including this new 10,000 shine rock pack called the glam rocker pack and it's one of the first ever uh girl tag packs that has a reactive head cosmetic right here it has a reactive fur cosmetic and since last update not this update but the last one before that they added this try on or thingy bajingy you can try on packs which is very very cool and um it's if you want to purchase you can see what it looks gonna look like before you purchase it pretty cool but this is where it kind of gets complicated you see the pride update is a first for gorilla tag meaning that in just two days on friday when the update does come out there's gonna be no flashback for it so girl tag's gonna have to get creative here but guess what friday is it marks the secret map change, which is a very, very cool date because that means that the secret map changes. For those of you who do not know, Gorilla Tech added a rotating map somewhere around January or February. And ever since then, every four, three or four weeks, it changes into a new beta map that Gorilla Tech just tests out. If it does good, then it'll stay in the game. That's why I've been leaking, or I guess theorizing, a space update for a while because there's very well good reason for them to do a beta map on it. And if it does good, to release it in the game. But that's not what's going to be happening this time. You see, Gorilla Tech has bigger plans. And for the first time ever, I think we're going to be getting to see a secret map stay, which has not yet happened because every time there's a new secret map, it's new, which means we don't get to keep this last one, whether we liked it or not. And to be brutally honest with you, I have not completely liked any of the secret maps until now. This one right here. This is OG Caves, an expansive, very multicolored, bright, and luminescent map that was first sprang into the game, I think after City, so that'd be like three years ago now, and it was one of the most popular maps for one reason. Well, I guess two reasons. The first one was the reason I stated about it being really cool. The vibe is nice, and the second is right behind me. The scariest part about the map, and it's mines. You see, Caves acts as a double deficit, which, well, I don't think I use that word right, but it means that it has two sides to it. It has a mines map and a caves map. You get two in one. And mines has always been very scary, and it got scarier with the last update because they added a ghost feature. And basically, the feature means that if you tap on this jar in this secret nook cranny in the mines map, you're gonna summon one of Gorilla Tag's most feared ghosts to this day, PPPV, or a skeleton version of her, to be exact. And she'll chase you around mines until she finally catches you, she'll then launch you into caves and get you out because she doesn't want you anywhere near her precious mines. But what would that reason be? What would she be protecting and why is it important? Follow me. If you go past these double crates, go to the right, you'll be entered with a bunch of different paths. So I guess I'm a good tour guide. You want to come to these three boxes and just to the right hand side of them, is a giant crack. What most people are suspecting is going to be the next update, and here's why. So you see, this giant crack formed just over a week and a half ago, signifying a new storyline edition from Gorilla Tech. Nobody knows exactly what it's meant to be, but what lots of people are suspecting is going to be either a new map or a horror mode. And for that reason, everyone is getting excited for this Friday because the secret map is changing, or is it? That is why everyone is so hyped for this update, because most people think caves and mines are going to be staying, but in that secret crack, it's going to be breaking open and it'll be a new horror mode or map to enter into. So you still get the best of both worlds, where you come down, Caves is still here, which is awesome, and then you go into the secret crack, and it's an even better map. A new map that we've never seen before, to be exact, and maybe a new game mode. Although, that's not very beta of Gorilla Tag, literally. It would be very cool to see, and I think it would also boost the player numbers a lot, since lately, in the Gorilla Tag fan game space, fan games have been getting very popular off of horror modes, like Capuchin, Big Scary, and more. And that's why I think Gorilla Tag might be trying to capitalize on this moment and make a horror mode. And for cosmetics, we don't know yet, and that's why it's pretty fun to know- well, it's gonna be a surprise. So that's why it's fun. And hopefully we get some like ghost hunting cosmetics because I'm assuming it's gonna be like a horror mode, which would be a very good opportunity for Gorilla Tag to release new cosmetics instead of reused ones, otherwise known as a flashback. Although 
just today when I got on, this is why I'm making the video, they actually finally updated the flashback shop. And now we know for sure that there's going to be some sort of badge, three cosmetics here, two here, and probably six here. So there's enough room for either a flashback or all new items. Tell me what your thoughts on this are down below. I don't think I said this yet, but make sure you save your special shiny rocks because without them, this update's going to be cruel. But I will be doing a giveaway, so join my Discord and maybe you'll get some pre- What the Sigma? Maybe you'll get some free shiny rocks. So now I think it's time to go ask people what they think the update's going to be and just see what other people's opinions are on all this. Let's go do that. Yo, what you doing, bro? That's it, Mike. I'm showing him how to care about my guy. Yo, Ron, I have a question for you, bro. He's definitely Ron. Ron, I got a question. Yo, this is my trio, bro. All right, bro. I am not trying to be. Why is there so many ghosts in here, bro? Oh my goose. Oh my goose. We're coat hopping today, boys. Yeah, bro, no, He's gonna, gonna be like, Yo, can you can anyone answer my? Oh, is this the same code from before? I swear it is. Purple, can I ask you a question? Shut up. Yeah, you can ask me a question. All right. First off, rate this update. Oh, you can have my chocolate. And second off. Okay, okay. Everybody's pretty Okay, okay. And my second question is, what do you think the next update is going to be? All right, so you said summer update. Okay, I think I think the secret map is going to change though, like low key. I think the secret map is going to change. Finally! Oh my gosh, bro's dead. <laughs> Literally. Yo, I got a question for you guys. All right. Chocolate. Chocolate. Oh my, okay. What do you think the next update's gonna be on Friday? Theoretically. You don't know? Okay. Flashback, okay. Anything from you? Oh. All he cares about is chocolate. Bro just wants the chocolate. Anyone have any like cool cosmetics they wanna show me? Like summer cosmetics or anything? Okay, cool cosmetics. I actually like that. The fork, bro. Okay, show me all your summer cosmetics right now. Lay it all out, man. Lay it out. Okay, wait. Let me get bear as bear. Bro, what? Bro's getting bear naked. Okay. I I don't have any hats. I look like a green. Okay. I think now it'll be a bummer because I have this. Okay, face tan. Okay. Okay, sunscreen. Okay. I'm gonna keep this one. You are an OG. Hold on, I'll be right back while you're doing that. Okay. Okay, okay. You must have a lot. Okay, the duck. Okay. Holy crap, the bubblegum. Alright. I think this is all I have, actually. You have a lot of summer cosmetics. Okay, hear me out. Yeah, I got this for summer cosmetics, and that's it. Do you have any cool theories for what the next update's gonna be on Friday? Or did you already tell me? I can't remember. I might actually start wearing the sunscreen, though, because it's, it's a decently... I like it. So. Do you have any... Tanjiro, get back to Demon Slayer. One last lobby before I end it, quite literally. Yo, does anyone wanna in here want to tell me what the next update's gonna be? You. Do you want to tell me what the next update's gonna be? I don't know. I don't know. You don't know? 